been a long hot summer a short hot summer mm. drink lots of liquids I've been drinking lots of uh, Wilkinson bubbly water mm. so today I have two guitars you've seen this one before this is the Taurus era guitar that I built and I like it so much I haven't sent it out yet it's kind of a special <clears throat> I may end up keeping it but I'm gonna sell it to somebody eventually who plays period music and would know how to use it you know someone that will play uh, Sor and Giuliani and the Spanish stuff from the late 19th century maybe like arrangements of popular zarzuela tunes or you know tariga, <clears throat> stuff like that but in the meantime I'm enjoying the heck out of it It's a flamenco guitar, but it's also got this really sweetness, sweetness to it. So I think this guitar is really interesting. I want it, I'm keeping it under my care until the right person comes along to to play this one because it's kind of it's a special guitar. Um, this is a special guitar too. This is a flamenco guitar that I just built. <laughs> so this is 1850 and this is 2023. So. Um, this is what this is what we came from and this is where we are now this is a completely powerful modern flamenco guitar yeah <laughs>
is a totally different thing. The modern guitars have a different kind of power, but these guitars, for the music that came from that time period, these guitars I think are really important to keep in mind. So let's say... Uh, let's say... miracle is that we met somebody that sings solia on the fourth fret so who do we know that does that nobody on my block <laughs> but for the purposes of just showing what this is like with a capo on it. like some boilerplate cordage for solia because you know you got to have a singer to follow but that's the sound envelope of this guitar <laughs> Thanks for watching.